Hi everyone. I wanted to talk today a little bit about creating that perfect environment for your clients. So we called this session, <laughs> How to Calm the Farm of Any Parent. And I wanted to talk to you about this because I think it's really important to understand how our parents are feeling prior to coming to a shoot. When we're getting ready, we're often nervous ourselves about meeting new clients, about how the session's going to go. We hope it obviously always goes smoothly, but there is something extra that we can do to help create that perfect calm environment for our parents when they first arrive to help keep that baby nice and calm as well. So I'm going to talk you through a little bit about what I do. At the beginning of every session when my clients arrive, and this, is, this goes for, for photographers who go to client homes as well, and I know right now we're currently not shooting, but when we do get back out there and we start working again with, with our cameras and our clients, um, this is going to work for all of you. So when my clients arrive, I make sure that I'm coming from the right place. I'm bringing the right amount of energy into that space. So whether or you are welcoming people into your home studio or a commercial studio, or you are going to client homes, it's always important that you present yourself from a nice calm place as well. So regardless of whether you've had a bad morning, you've had to deal with teenagers like I often do, getting them ready for school, you know, anything that could have possibly gone wrong or created any, any potential levels of anxiety before the session, if you bring all of that into that space, people will feel, feed off that energy. So it's really important that you bring a calm energy into that space. So it, regardless of whether or not you have had a, a good morning or a bad morning, you should be walking into that session from a very, very um, open and calm space. And the way to do that is to take three deep breaths and release all of the tension that you have within you before you start working with, with any potential client or, or baby. So for me, when I walk into my studio, this is my happy place, this is my calm space. I take three deep breaths and I leave everything at the door. And I come in here and I switch off from that because it allows me to fully focus and pour the right amount of energy into my sessions to make sure that I am 110% present and I am going to deliver you know, the results that my clients are expecting from me. I think that that's really important that we understand that. When they come to us, they are paying us for a product and service. So we have to deliver to those expectations that we've set on our website, on the information that we have sent them, the way that we have communicated with them prior to the session. Because when they come to you, or even when you go to them and they open that door, they are nervous, they are excited. They don't know how everything is going to go. They don't know if their baby is going to sleep, stay awake, and they don't know how a lot of the photographs that we create are made. So there's always going to be that level of excitement. Plus, we've also got to remember that they have gone through a lot. You've got to go into each session with a little bit of empathy and understanding because you don't know what, exper what experiences they've had over the past couple of weeks. You don't know what they've gone through leading up to the birth of their baby, whether or not, whether or not they had a traumatic experience bringing their baby into the world as well. But what we also have to remember is that the session is not about us. It is about them. It's important for us to remember to listen to them and when I say go into that session from an open space and bring positive energy into it, make sure that you, you make that all about them and not about you. They don't, they don't really care what happened to you that morning. They don't care about your birth story. It's just happened to them. So we have to, you know, deliver, you know, obviously our 100% undivided attention to them. So when I welcome clients in, I'm already in, that, in the right space. I know why my clients come to me. I understand that. I also want to learn more about them. So I ask as many questions as I possibly can to get the information I need to deliver what they want. When they walk into my space, you can hear a little bit of that music playing in the background there. So obviously when we want to create the perfect environment for a newborn shoot, we want to make sure that it's warm, 
We want to make sure that the space is obviously clean and it's going to create a beautiful first impression. They're going to walk in and it's going to be, oh my gosh. And if you're going to someone's home, you know, it's important when you're setting up, put on a little speaker, put some music on and create, um, you know, that same, same effect that I've got going on right now in the background. So whenever I open the door, I always say, come on in, it's nice and warm in here. And the minute they walk in, it is warm. It's not too hot, but it is warm, but there's that beautiful music playing and it's going to create that relaxed environment that I want. Music actually has a huge impact on the way people respond and behave and it can create different emotions. So for me, I no longer play white noise. I no longer play my little heartbeat monitor or have you know those shushing sounds going. If I do need to shush a baby, I'll do it with my mouth if I need to. But what I found over the years is babies are, are used to constant sound when they are um, in the womb, but it's not a particular sound. Yes, they hear a heartbeat going constantly and things like that and whooshing sounds, but they do hear other sounds. So it's just about having constant sound. For me, I want to make my, my parents really relaxed so that when they sit down to feed that baby, they're going to relax to that music and enjoy the environment. I'm bringing positive, calm energy to the space. I speak calmly and gently to them. I listen. Um, I, I leave them to take the environment in for a couple of minutes so that they're not focusing all of their energy and attention on me. So that when they feed their baby, they actually sit and relax. I always say to them, sit, relax, please take your time. We are not in a hurry. And that, the way that you communicate with them, the beautiful sounds that you have, them looking around the studio, it's just going to help them calm and relax so that they can enjoy this experience because you want them to walk away and remember it, remember that it was such a beautiful experience and it should be a beautiful experience. People will always remember how you make them feel. When they leave your studio, if they have felt um, nervous, if they have felt anxious, if they have felt that you didn't listen to them or you didn't communicate with them, if they have felt that you were so busy or you know you, the baby was crying and, and you were you know doing things that they didn't feel comfortable with, they're going to remember that. They won't always remember what you say but they will remember how you make them feel. So even if you deliver stunning photos when they look at that photo, they'll remember the experience. So for me to get my clients back in the, in the studio for every, every you know, future baby or every future shoot that we have, I have to have that lasting impression on them. So it's all about the space, the music that we have playing, you can find on a playlist on Spotify. It's the Kelly Brown newbornposing.com playlist. It is such a wonderful way to add just that, you know, that beautiful sort of, in, you know, that feel and, um, oh, what's the other word I'm looking for? Just that, yeah, that ambience to the space. So consider how you make your clients feel when they walk into your studio and how you can relax them as much as you possibly can. Uh, it is such a wonderful experience to photograph someone's new baby. Couples are always so in love. Nothing can ever prepare them for how much they're going to love that baby. So you need to remember to ask all of the right questions, empathize, come from a place of understanding and communicate with them in a way that helps them to relax. When they are relaxed, when they are calm, they will feed their baby a lot better if they're breastfeeding. They're going to have that letdown of milk, which is going to help that baby feed, and it's going to help that baby relax as well. So if mum is tense, if mum is anxious, the baby will feed that, I'm sorry, feel that, especially when they're feeding and being held by a parent. So it is up to you, it is your job, to make those, calm, those clients as calm as you possibly can. That's why we say calm the farm. My teenage daughter always says to me, mum, calm the farm. So it's my way of explaining, I suppose, how to create that, that beautiful space to bring your clients in so that you, you have that lasting impression and they're gonna walk away from this experience remembering every little detail and they're going to enjoy it. And it's, it's so incredible to actually see people arrive 
and you can see their level of, of energy um, sort of almost bursting through. They're so nervous, they're, they're so excited at the same time to have their baby photographed. And then halfway through the session, when you turn around and you see them and they're just so relaxed and they're enjoying it, um, it's such a wonderful thing to see because you know that they're going to walk away and they're never going to forget it. And that's what we have to do as photographers, especially when we're photographing babies. So remember to take those three deep breaths, calm yourself, remember to leave all of you know, your, um, everything that's happened to you, all of your baggage, I suppose, at the door of the studio or at the door of your clients' homes and walk in there from that calm space and you will notice a massive difference as to how you create a relationship with your clients and you communicate with them on such a different level. But the music, I can tell you, it works. I have been using this music in my studio now for about four years and it has made a huge difference. I found, I found when I was going to have my massages, not that I've had one for a long time, but I would go in and have my, my de-stress massage, my neck and shoulders, and every time I walked in, they had this beautiful music playing, and I just felt instantly relaxed. And I'm like, I need to do this for my clients. I need to relax them. They are tired, they are anxious, they are worried that they're not doing everything right when they come to us in those first few weeks. They are excited, they are anxious, all of the emotions you could possibly feel, they are experiencing. So it's up to us to help create that beautiful, calm, relaxing environment so that they do remember this. Well, that's one of my best tips and advice for you. I want you to have a wonderful weekend. Wherever you are in the world, please stay safe and enjoy this time with your family. See you later.